We're here at the sidelines of the Banking Unlimited BQ conference, and I have with me a very special guest, Mr. Jitendra Goel, who is with uh, Kotak Alternate uh, Asset Management. He's uh, Chief Investment Strategist. You've seen him in other roles, but uh, this is his new role. So, uh, two questions here, chiefly emanating from the discussions we're having here. There is a sense on the visibility of challenges right now when it comes to the economy. Uh, we're looking at the interest rates. We're looking at a 6.5 percent growth rate. There is, to a certain extent, a visibility on the challenges. Uh, now, what is that the bank should be looking at in terms of the focus areas for them? Uh, what is your sense on that? Yeah, I think the clear focus area for the banks right now should be on liability franchise. Uh, I guess the growth opportunities are tremendous. So just to give you some perspective, uh, currently I think uh, our GDP is projected to be around 300 lakh crores. Uh, just four years ago, it was 200 lakh crores. So almost in last uh, four years, we have added almost 100 lakh crores uh, to our GDP size. So I think uh, opportunity is tremendous. And as the size of India's uh, GDP keeps growing, uh, uh, we're going to get a, a, a lot of new business opportunity as India is uh, one of the most unbanked uh, countries uh, which is growing so fast. Uh, but on the other side, if I look at the global environment is such that the growth is weakening uh, and uh, capital is, uh, is a problem because the Fed is tightening and uh, the balance sheet is shrinking. So on the, on the fund management side, I think the challenges could be the bank which can actually grow their casa uh, the banks could uh, you know if it is possible to lower their uh, interest costs in this very competitive environment and that would be the big challenge otherwise growth is going to be uh, phenomenal in my view you know, I want to I want to pick up on one of the points you mentioned in terms about the size, right? Uh, we are a young country, and um, you know, recently at the G20, also this was something that we noted that we have a large underbanked population, we have a strength in numbers. Uh, now I want to switch to strategies for banks that they should be looking at um, investments in terms of fintech a strength in numbers, a large underbanked population. All of the factors to this equation are clear. So, what should be the strategies going ahead now? I think it should be multifold. I think and no bank can actually only focus on offline and then uh, some might uh, look at online or let's say a fintech. I think the strategy should be uh, comprehensive in my view uh, because uh, still our rural uh, area, I'm, I'm not sure how many uh, would uh, be uh, uh, you know uh, very much online savvy, I would say. So I would say that it, it should be a kind of a comprehensive strategy uh, region by region, uh, segment by segment, uh, whether you are, uh, you know, uh, uh you know, going for an unbanked kind of a sector, uh, then the strategy is different. Uh, your technological uh, background should be very different. Uh, but if you are in, let's say, a, a kind of a well-banked uh, uh, tier one city, the strategy should be different. So I think uh, it should be a comprehensive strategy rather than just focusing on uh, fintech side or uh, let's say on a technology side or offline, which is a traditional way of uh, doing business. I think it's it's a mix of everything. So you're prescribing ear on the ground and uh, based on that, uh, uh, be, have it flexible. So always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for talking to BQ Prime.